Hello everyone, welcome to some basic tech and today we will cover about how you can install Grafana and Prometheus on your Windows operating system. These applications are usually used for monitoring uh, our environment and our environment resources just like a CPU, everything. It means uh, you can also visualize your all type of information that is running on any Windows or Linux operating systems. Fine. So today we will cover to install uh, on Windows operating system and uh, let me show you everything step by step and then we'll create dashboard as well fine on grafana so first of all i have downloaded two of applications in my system let me show you see so i have uh, downloaded grafana enterprise.exe file and prometheus setup file fine first of all you can uh, execute this grafana enterprise.exe file and install it and then go to prometheus folder and unzip and then double click to this Prometheus application. It will execute and in services will start running of Prometheus, fine. So we have to just do it, these things for installation part and then if you want to get both of dashboards on browser, then go to start section and open any browser. I am just opening my Ace browser that is Microsoft default here I'm just typing HTTP colon double slash localhost colon then 3000 port is especially used for Grafana and 9090 is usually used for Prometheus. So I'm just mentioning 3000. Once you mention 3000, it will show you Grafana dashboard page, fine. And then I'm again going to open Prometheus page. So HTTP colon double slash localhost colon 9090. This is the port for Prometheus. Let's see whether it is started. Okay, fine. See, the Prometheus services is also running. And you can see uh, these are the very basic things are looking here. But we can visualize these things on Grafana. And we can see more, uh, you know, visualized way. Fine. Now on a uh, Grafana page, we can see uh, some of the details are mentioned here. You can just read everything and one by one and create your first dashboard, add your first data source. So this means uh, asking to add our data source. That is our Prometheus, right? This is our first task that we can perform. So just click to Prometheus and dash so data source added. Our Prometheus services is running fine on the machine, so this, okay, yes, Prometheus service is uh, fine running, so Grafana detected it uh, very quickly, and rest of settings will be default, just save it, that's it. Validation error, invalid URL, because uh, we have not provided the exact URL, it means HTTP, colon, then localhost, 9090 that's it you just need to provide the same url then it will save properly successfully queried that prometheus api fine now just go back and let's start creating our dashboard so it will help us to provide rest of things and just click to the uh, start menu setting that is near to home and click to dashboard button in the dashboard section, we can see uh, everything and uh, here we need to click to new button that will create our dashboard and we can also create new folder so it can be divided according to our team structure. Suppose you want to monitor uh, HR data or any other team of data, finance data. So you can just create different, different folders and create dashboards as well. Fine. So I'm creating new folder first that is demo fine folder is created now asking for to create dashboard just click to create dashboard and add visualization here you can select the same data source that is default one and go down a bit here you can see Matrix browser is asking about to search something, but whatever query you want to see. So I'm just uh, mentioning memory. So just enter and then it will select the 
first one that is process virtual memory bytes and run the query. Okay, fine. So we can see that uh, memory index is showing on our dashboard and uh, uh, we also want to add one of threshold so we can just uh, define whether the memory is running in the perfect way or is there any modification required. So go down the right side area. Here, go down, down, and then you will see thresholds option. Here, predefined is 80%, but the so threshold is disabled. Just click to enable with the heading lines and then Select with percentage. Absolute means it won't show, and in percentage it will show on our dashboard. After doing all things, apply. That's it. And see, our dashboard is running fine. We can see CPU uh, uh, memory utilization in our dashboard. And similarly, you can add new dashboard. Just click to visualization. And here you can see uh, another query option and I'm going to type CPU. Enabling that threshold value for better experience. See, so both of dashboards is running fine in our cre newly created folder that is demo. And uh, this is how you can install Grafana, Prometheus, and you can create dashboard. And uh, similarly, I will uh, create another videos for creating the entire full structure of dashboards and other uh, specializations as well. And I will try to cover alerting rules and everything which is, uh, comes under Grafana settings. So yeah, stay tuned with the video. Let's meet to the next video. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.